right now at 530. How safe is the Pfizer COVID vaccine? We are investigating the death of a South Florida doctor who passed away two weeks after getting his shot. And we have reaction from that doctor's family. And we're also now hearing from Pfizer as well as the Florida Department of Health on this one. Local 10 investigator Amy Viteri is live with what she has learned. Amy. Well, Dr. Gregory Michael passed away on Sunday just a little over two weeks after getting a COVID-19 vaccine at Mount Sinai Medical Center. But right now it is not clear if his death is linked to that shot that he got back in mid-December. The Centers for Disease Control now looking into the death of Dr. Gregory Michael, who received the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine on December 18th. The 56-year-old got the vaccine at Mount Sinai Medical Center, where he ran a private practice as an OBGYN for the last 15 years. A Facebook post by Michael's wife describes him as very healthy. She says three days after getting the shot, he noticed severe broken blood vessels on his feet and hands, prompting him to go to the emergency room. Diagnosed with something called immune thrombocytopenia, which prevents blood from clotting. After two weeks of treatment, she writes, he got a hemorrhagic stroke caused by the lack of platelets that took his life in a matter of minutes. A spokesperson for Mount Sinai citing patient privacy restrictions, telling us in a statement, to the extent that we are aware of an incident involving any patient, the appropriate agencies are contacted immediately and have our full cooperation. Florida's Department of Health confirming they referred the case to the CDC for investigation. A CDC spokesperson telling us they will evaluate the situation as more information becomes available and provide timely updates on what is known and any necessary actions. The vaccine manufacturer Pfizer BioNTech also responding in a statement saying they are aware of the death of a healthcare professional 16 days after receiving a first dose. We are actively investigating this case, but don't believe at this time there is any direct connection to the vaccine, saying there have been no related safety signals identified in trials or vaccinations so far. Well, Dr. Michael's family has asked for privacy during this time. His wife writing on Facebook, he was a vaccine advocate. He was also a father. The medical examiner's office telling us as of now, the cause of death has not been determined. And that is something they say could take several weeks. The CDC, of course, tasked with reviewing vaccine safety, telling us their thoughts are with the family. They say to date, more than 5 million people have received COVID-19 vaccines in the United States. Of course, this is a story we are going to continue to follow. And as soon as we get new information, we will share that with you. We are live in Miami Beach. Amy Bateri, Local 10 News.